few people have been asking me for a better video on this final stage as to the last one it is uh, terrible to be honest um, so the first thing you've got to do is get under here uh, which is driver side in the UK um, so the first thing to do you've got that little grill thing at the back with a hole next to it normally there's a plastic bung in there with a big heck a big um, posi type fitment on it undo that and pull that out mine's been out before and been lost um, and then you've got a few torx heads you've got a couple under there one over there and then you can pull this section off and pull this section down so we'll do that first so you want a t25 the thing to do is undo this one My blowers stopped working. Um, I've done it before. I used a um, copy part, not an original one, and they don't last 10 minutes. So I'm going to have another look, and then that comes up. That's normally clipped in. That comes out. And then we've got a couple under here. That one's already out. Got this one. There's the one that was already out. as well um, so now we can just slide it out of this corner and down like that. as you can see I've got a leak it's been pissing in what Nando doesn't have a leak now and you just unclip the light and unclip this as well this is a bit of a nightmare to get out you got to the bottom that clips in like that and then it rips into your thumb and then that can come out the way right so the final stage resistor is up in that hole absolutely pissing out there that really hurt me so it's up inside that hole so you have to get your hand up in there and feel for it. The easiest way is to find the wiring loom and follow it to it. Now I'll go up there and try and pull it out. Um, it's difficult for you to see but let's give it a go. It actually fits into the side of the where the fan goes. It's a bit of a pisser to find. But once you know where it is, once you continue to find it easily that's it there that goes onto it mine's pretty green inside there so it could be all this water I've been getting pissing in here that, that's causing my problem because I do find if I shake the connector it comes back on so I'm going to look at cleaning that out but I'm going to try and get the final stages straight for you just so you can see sometimes I find that the um, if the fans are set, the um, fans are set in the wrong position, if you can't get it out, so I'm just gonna adjust the fans by putting the key in.
and here the flaps are just there. And then I may be able to get it out to get my hand on the back of here. Fallout. Because it has it's supposed to have a little screw in there, the torques. But I have a problem with it keep falling out, so I ended up shoving it in there and now. It's pretty stuck. It's just trying to position these. Things. There we go. There's a little click below it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything up there, but pushed you there for a sec. Fun wobbling loose. There it is, look. See it in there, so be all in this brown wire if you've got that. No, no. Oh no, that's the, look you can see, that's got a little bit manky inside mine there. So I'm going to clean that out, and this connects to the back of that there. And just give it a wobble and give it a pull. And then, it will come out. That looks like that. It does only go in one way. This is an actual BMW one. Um, so I replaced the old one with a new BMW one, obviously. And I think these pins here have got wet, as you can see inside there. And the course needs to go on and off, so I have to end up wobbling around. So what I'm going to do is clean them pins and put it back on. This could also be what's causing my battery to go flat. We do tend to do that. Um, so there it is. I'll see if I can show you the hole up there where it comes from. the corner of the hole that's coming up there look and it goes in one way okay so I hold that up here I'm gonna clean this uh, clean the connector and that there have the connector on that and put it back in and see if it's working it's because my fans are not doing anything unless I give this a good wobble and it starts working again so I have actually got a new one this is not a BMW original part is it a one? I tried fitting one of these before and it didn't, didn't work. But uh, this is a spare one I've got knocking about so I thought I might as well give it a go. And see if it works. Nice and clean and fresh compared to that one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try and 
try and clean the cutter out. Yeah. GT84 is a water dispersant, not going to be day 14. So I'll get a spray up there and clean them connectors out a bit. What I want to do is I'll get the old one. Jam it in and out a bit. Wiggle it about trying to get some of that crap out of there. <sighs> really could do with a wire brush. But at the minute I don't have one. What I do have is this. Reach it all short there and give it a one at a time. I don't want to short these. So now I'm going to put it back in to the hole. So it does go only one way around. I believe the connector goes that way. Uh, if you feel up there, you can feel the shape of the hole. Yeah, it goes that way around. You can feel the shape of these. It is all by feel, you can't see up there at all. So now we just have to wiggle around till it feels like it's going to go in. There we go. Make sure it's located. A little clip underneath it. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. And then we can chuck the connector on the back. Find that. thing to do but luckily it does only all go one way There we go, that's clipped in. So before we put it back together, we'll try the heaters. Okay. So I'll get the key in. And there we go, it's blowing. Up and down. And it's blowing nicely, which it wasn't before. Okay. I hope that helps you. Put it all back together the same as you took it apart. Put the plastic piece up there first with the things clipped in, then clip the side piece in and put all your screws back. Unless you like me and you want to put half of them back. Okay, I hope you so. Please like and subscribe.